Hey guys, so uh, it's a little update. I actually have a new system. I had reworked everything that's in my system. Uh, new motherboard, new CPU, new fans, LED fans. Uh, the whole nine, I made this powerful. I, uh, one of the primary reasons why I did it was because I wanted to take my Linux gaming to the next level. Uh, previously, I was running an APU setup, an AMD APU setup, but it just wasn't to the caliber that I wanted to. I wanted my computer to be at, so uh, I had to switch. I am currently running a i7 6700K with a. Now this is my first time ever, my first ever gaming graphics card. Ah, man, this thing's a beauty. I have a Asus GTX. 1070. This thing is amazing. It has aura, aura, aura lighting. Uh, it customizable it, it, with the lighting, the co color patterns. It's really awesome. Uh, yeah, so I really am happy. Uh, yes, I did install Windows 10. Uh, that's only because uh, I wanted to take advantage of, and yes, unfortunately, it is proprietary, but I wanted to take advantage of the customizable software that is optimized with the hardware so as well as any drivers you know so uh yeah because i have also a corsair strife keyboard now this has uh red cherry max uh key switches that's uh, very awesome uh, all red leds uh, i also have their their software so i can actually tinker around with the patterns, the effects, uh, this thing is awesome, I'm really happy with the setup, I'm kind of running a red, black, r blue setup, I'm going to try to keep consistent with those type of, those three colors, uh, very unique, I love how they pop out, very nice, and so far I'm doing a pretty good job, <laughs> and uh, yeah, so right now I'm running Windows 10, uh, I won't, I, don't, I really don't use Windows as often, I mean, unless I'm at work, but um, I've Personally, I really don't use it, but I will be using it now just for gaming. Yes, yeah, especially for gaming. Fortunately, there are some games that aren't compatible with Linux. Hopefully, that's a as of yet situation, but we will see. Um, so, yep, yeah, that's pretty much you know, main re one of the well, second reason as to why I'm keeping my Windows partition. But uh, besides that, uh, yeah, guys. So I had a question. So since this is new, uh, I have brand new SSD, I have 2 terabyte hard drive, um, I will be getting a PCIe SSD, and yes, my beautiful new keep uh, motherboard is compatible with the new M.2 port, so I can take advantage of the new, um, I also as well as uh, DDR4, so uh, I could take advantage to, you know, the, the recent gen. Um, technologies and, and 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 the performance uh man it's gonna be amazing i i was seeing videos on how the performance of pcie ssds are just like I, I believe at least like two times faster than an ssd and i thought ssds were fast enough They're amazing I, I thought they were like you know amazing as it is and you know and come to find out that pcies are even faster than ssd just blew my mind so <laughs> i'll be picking that up soon uh, and I will be putting my Linux OS on it. But as of right now, I'll be partitioning my SSD, and I need your advice. Which distro should I run? I'm not really quite sure which one to run as of yet, guys. I have been thinking about which distro, you know, would be best, like, optimized for gaming. Um, you know, one that I would like. You know, I, I, I really, when it comes to distros, I really keep an open mind. You know, I really try to see what they deliver and how they deliver you know their OS and I really try to you know to see the good and bad in things uh, good and bad of them but uh yeah and I haven't really come across any additional I didn't like but yeah I uh, I was thinking of just sticking with one that I just happen to really like as of now which is GNOME 3 Ubuntu uh, 1604 now you guys and some people may have an issue with the whole GNOME 3 desktop. Now, uh, as of as many things are, it is all subjective. I personally like the whole environment because 
I think it's a new take on the desktop, especially to Linux. You know, it's very that's one of the main reasons why I love Linux too. It's for the uniqueness that it tries to bring in desktops and like the experiments and you know the way that it just overall is. You know, uh, I really did like I really did like it. I had it on my desktop. I don't think it's a laptop distribution. I don't think that that just that type of environment should be on a desktop. At least the way that it was delivered on um, Ubuntu. I just did. I don't think it really should. I had it on my ThinkPad T520, and then again, it could be because it is a ThinkPad T520. That, that laptop came out in what 2007. Um, I love that laptop. Oh, it's my daily laptop. I have no other one. I actually switched that one out for um, this other laptop I had as a Dell Inspiron. It was a very recent one, too. Very high end. Had an i7. Uh, it had a touch screen. Very nice, refined metal. Oh, top notch really top-notch but it really wasn't Linux compatible and I couldn't have that so um, I found this beauty works it does exactly what I needed to do works awesome and I'm actually running elementary OS on that but I'm digressing <laughs> I need your opinion guys which distro should I try out now I've been thinking and um, recently uh, they, and they confirmed this, and I'm thinking, you know, in terms of like which distro should I try out? Uh, the Zorin OS support group had confirmed this. They told me about last week saying that they are finalizing and releasing Zorin OS 12 this week, guys. This week, Zorin OS 12 is coming out. Now, I'm very excited because this is the biggest release yet. Uh, they've ever released and I'm very 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 much excited with their desktop um, I've had great experiences with them before in the past uh, I have purchased their ultimate editions for OS 9 when it first came out as well as for OS 11 which came out a couple of months ago uh, yeah really like their distros uh, really great quality and I'm really glad for the success of the team you know they've been doing really well if you guys didn't know let me pull this up this article on FOSS. Uh, this city, Italy, Vincenza, has adopted Zorin OS. Zorin OS, and they're replacing it from Windows. They're replacing Windows with Zorin OS, and that is amazing. Uh, I love that. Uh, go open source and go Linux. Um, you know, that's just, that's helping Linux become the more, the dominant desktop, the daily desktop OS uh, for everyone. Just, just the whole competition. I'm sorry. <clears throat> uh, I tend to have to burp whenever I get on this mic for some reason. I don't know. I, maybe it's because I eat right before I decide to do a video. But um, <laughs> yeah, I'd, it's amazing. You know, the type of accomplishment they did. Uh, I'm very happy for them. You know, you guys should check it out if you guys haven't heard about them. Really good. Uh, they, they associate their whole UI, their whole desktop. Uh, experience with uh, Windows, in particular with Windows 7, um, and uh, from what it looks like from the betas and the beta reviews, uh, looks like they're trying to go for a Windows 10 now, which makes sense. You know, um, it looks really good, performs really good. Let me see if I can pull up that video. So this is on their website. They released this blog. So some new built-in apps. Like their own weather app, uh, some new features that they didn't have before. Uh, very nice. Yeah, I'm really, I'm really digging this whole feel of the desktop environment. And yes, it does remind me of Windows 10. It does, but it's not as intrusive as Windows 10. Or if not, I don't think it is at all. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm really thinking of trying this out. You know, I might not go to uh, number one too, but we'll see. You know, we'll see how it goes. But yeah, guys, so please feel free to leave me your suggestions down below. I really want to know which distro do you recommend. And also, um, when to install a distribution. Oh, well, as of right now, um, based on your recommendations, I'll be trying them out on VirtualBox, which I have installed here. But besides that, let me know oh, which. One second. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.